Hey little bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you got some kind of insight from um the the video content please go ahead and share um it'll be greatly appreciated so um you know with all that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way i don't know if i said that already but if it is hey that's a double tr for your troubles and you know uh all, all send in love and light and please you know everything is divinely protected over here if you have any kind of hidden intent to try to destroy or distract hey i'm sending that right back to sender um the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas the t of your test is your testimony you know um i know that's the second time i've seen a post where it talked about that i know kalani it had that you know what i said dad you know what i've seen that before anytime it comes up it comes up in your mind or you see it you know it is something that that hides behind that one well, that's something that projects behind that put it that way you know there's a lot of things in our life that we we can go through and we're really not proud of you know a lot of times people always say hey you know don't be telling people what you have gone through back in the day you know it'd be different if you're just trying to tell people your whole life story like why are you telling people that or if there'll be certain things like if you're here like i am um and you're allowing people into your life of a person you know personal and you know you're telling people you know where you where you've been is not really important where where you've been you know is where where you're taking yourself off from that if you have gone thing done things in your life that you're really not proud of you know a lot of us have i think all of us have but there's a lot of time people worry about what other people think and it's at that point in life where you know you're only able to validate yourself there'll be a lot of times where There'll be, you know, people are always going to be judgmental of you, but it, it's just like you have to allow yourself to not take that personal, you know, it's just like people that will place judgment on you and don't even have their own life straight, you know, and you have to be able to go and not allow yourself to take that personal. It, it's just like, um, I went through this, you know, I went through my mo moments of struggle, you know, I tell people, hey, I used to be, you know, uh, I used to abuse my opiates, you know, um, I used to really uh, overtake my, my, my pain medication from getting hit from a drunk driver or, you know, different stuff like that. Or, you know, I wrote balance checks, you know, I had to be um, exotic dancer for a few years, you know, I, I, you know, different stuff like that. And it's just like, you know, that's not something I want to brag about. That's something that's like a hee hee and a ha ha. But it's just like, I'm no longer that person. You know, um, I learned a lot from my past. Uh, I appreciate where my past has got me into being, a, you know, working on being the best version of myself. And I mean, that could be somebody too, but that's my testimony. You know, and that, that, you know, it makes you look at life. You know, there's a lot of things that we wish we can don't, don't, uh, have done better. But, you know, sometimes we don't have that luxury. You know, we don't have that choice. You know, um, there's a lot of times where people don't have to go through that moment of struggle where, you know, shoot, they might have been born with a silver spoon in the mouth. You know, they may have been coming into a wealthy family or whatever. But you may be one of those million of people where you really had to start from the ground up and just trying to see where does, you know, make your purpose in life. Because I know there was back in the day, you know, I was just like, I have not found my zen yet. I have not found my thing, you know, that really makes me happy. It'll be certain, like I got certain jobs and I'll be so happy about it. And then I'll be so bored, like be telling myself, you are not going to be here long. <laughs> you, you, were like, you were so happy about it. I was like, hey, how's your job? Oh, it's a job. It pays. It's like, you don't like it, do you now? <laughs> and then you already know when you you are there, and you already don't like it. it it'll be hard to be at a job that you don't find fulfilling, and it, it'll be you want to be at that situation. You want to be in a, in a vibration to where it's not a job, it's not a career. This is a, a part of your lifestyle. If there are certain things you can be off, and you're still thinking about this is what I want to do when I go back. You know, this is what I want to add to it. That's like, you know, this is something that you are really fulfilling into your life. This is your testimony, your whole tea for the testimony. It's just allowing me to see what I really do is, is, uh, 
I'm really passionate about that. I'm really allowing myself to grow off of these different things. I'm really, you know, uh, there's things that I really know I can bring towards the table. It's showing me, shoot, I am the whole table. You know, and these are the different things that, um, that is really fulfilling to me. When you were doing things like that, there'll be some times where I'm going through a lot of spiritual changes and it's just like right now I'm tired, but it's just like, you know, I'm like, "Ooh, I got some uh, you know, uh, uh, content that I want to get done today and I can just save it for another day and just, you know, have it to say because it is like I'm, I'm vibing with that right now. You know, I'm really proud of what I'm becoming. You know, cuz it'll be different times I can say stuff and it'll catch me off guard and there'll be something the universe is like, "Hey, you needed to hear that today. We 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 just got you towards that we spotlighted it hey and we just that was kind of verbiage that came up and you weren't you know that would be like a you know a, a belch or you know maybe a, a throw up or whatever you know <laughs> even though it's not you know something god you know like gross like that tmi but it'd be something that you weren't expecting to come up to that surface that it was like dang you know that's pretty good could be a different time like you're really trying to find a, uh, a answer to a question and don't realize the universe will guide somebody to you and they'll ask you a question and you'll get an answer and you'll be shook and they're like what's wrong with you you know what i've been sitting up here wanting that daggone answer to that question for like about 12 days now and just from you lead me over here and you asking me that and i end up giving you the answer to it end up answering my own question and then here's the universe and guys like this is what we're here for and you're like man you you know, because they always tell you everything that you're looking for is already within or whatever you're wanting is already wanting you to. You're getting that vibration with whatever you're wanting is wanting you to. And these are different things that, you know, becomes your true testimony. And just say, you know, hey, I'm not proud of how my life started, you know, the choices I've made. But now I'm being very conscious about what I'm doing. I'm, I'm allowing myself to really look forward to the life that I'm choosing on where it's going it's just like when I know I'm doing something very productive doing something that th is very motivating and positive you know universe opens door for that when you allowing yourself to really talk to the universe and say hey I want to make some conscious choices you know you're really trying to lead me towards something I'm just trying to be you know obedient on where you're trying to lead me I'm leaving myself open to wherever you're guiding me at universe like shoot we've been waiting for you to do this for a long time so we're gonna go ahead and start opening up all these different doors for you and it is going to be not just your testimony, but it's, it's, it's just that that T was the test to get to that testimony that you're going to have for somebody else that is needing this at that time because they're probably trying to find their zen. They're trying to find something that really uplifts them, um, that really brings joy into their heart, that where they want to be able to express that and share that with other people, of may, being able to re resonate with what I'm going through, what path I'm going on, trying to find out where is my thing, where is this thing that just makes me excited for the next day because there'll be different times where i've been doing this for so long and i'll have some of my love bugs i don't even say subscribers but my um my soul family be like Roz, you know hey <laughs> then they'll be texting me like girl slow down is that what you mean and i was like i'm you know i, I gotta do this i gotta do it and like Roz, you have did do you realize in the last day three days you don't put out like probably about 20 videos i'm like dad it's been that many and and I have to go back and look. And then be wondering why sometimes I be spaced out or I be talking real fast because I don't took a monster drink or I don't took a Mountain Dew. And I be like, y'all, I ain't geeked out or whatever like that. This is what I'm drinking. You know, especially if I ain't drinking for a while. I know I had one like, what, two weeks ago and that mess had me feeling zooted. Like, I don't know when I'm talking real fast. I'm like, ooh, I ain't had one of those in a long time. It got me feeling so uncomfortable. You know, because I was just like Speedy Gonzalez. You know, I ain't like that. But... Then it will be just now, it's like I done made so many videos to where if I want to take off a month, I can be able to do that. Because I'm just like, shoot, if you really want to watch some videos, I got so many down there that I've been doing for so long. You know, because it's like now I can take that, be frustrated with myself like, dang, I'm tired, but I feel like I need to be doing some more. And it'll be like the universe is like when when you're tired you know when you're doing things it's different when you're doing stuff and you're just in that depressed mode and you're really trying to push yourself to get into that protective vibe that's a good thing because it'll be t sometimes you know you in that you know when you can be manic depressive it'll be you don't feel like going out of bed you don't feel like dealing with nobody you don't feel like going outside i'm like shoot i live in georgia so if you <laughs> it'll be sometimes it'll be like hotter than satan toenail out there and the only time you be ready to go outside is like when it when the sun goes down 
And that was pretty me- much to me because it'd be like, God, oh, you come outside and make you want to cuss. I was like, like hell, you know, it's hot. It'll take your breath away. And it's just like, no, no, because I'll be looking like, I'll be feeling like I'm in the Sahara Desert or am I in hell because it is hot, really hot, you know. So it'll be times like where universe is like you need to go in nature where you need to turn that heat down. And I'll be able to go outside because man, uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh. <laughs> even my cat be want to go outside I'm like look you can go ahead and obtain that I don't even know how you do it because I ain't even got no fur on me like that and it, it is that that's just like irritating to my soul I'm like no 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 I'm not about to stay out here but just being able to do that you know everybody has a testimony your 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 tea whatever your story is it holds some kind of test to it to where it is going to transform into something that you may really want to share with people you know share with the world like this is what i went through i was guided to be able to tell people this hey do you resonate what i'm talking about you know there will be different times i'll jump from job to job or career career or you know my pet my family have had this legacy thing where we passed down this you know this career and it was just with me i i i just did it because my family wanted me to do it and i was so miserable at it and then it was just something where i had to really truly tell my family I didn't want to do that and it was just a shock to them but then there's some family just like okay well we understand you know it, this is like 12 generations we, we won't be surprised if there'll be that one generation that just is not their thing and there'll be some families that want to just disown you for that and it's just like god dog can, can you can you just give me a, a high five just for me being original you know I, not everybody's going to like the same thing as you and I guarantee you everybody was passed down to they, some of them done stayed there just because the fact is they didn't want to have this conversation I'm having right now you know and there'll be certain situations like that and it, it's just like with my life you know I, I had so many different things that I can look at and different pathways and it's just like I wanted to make a, a pavement of my own you know I didn't want to follow behind my parents you know there'll be certain things that I did behind my parents but there'll be certain things that's like I want to live in the shadow of them I want to be able to you know start my own you know and just glad that my family that passed on is proud of what I'm doing so it just gives me that okay that gives me a plus and it's just like when I'm finally doing something that's very productive and positive and motivating not just to me but other people it makes me feel like you know what I'm finally into the thing where I really love doing you know I may not uh, be big at it now or getting a lot of views or have a lot of subscribers but it's giving me that potential like this is the first time where even when things didn't seem right, something was telling me to keep going. It was just something in my in my soul that was just like, keep going, keep going. And you're like, you don't know what it is, but that that's universe is guiding you towards something. You're on to something. You know, you got a lot of different things that you go through. You've had people that try to make sure they got strikes to you or try to make you, your, you know, your channel come down. You know, it'd be different things like that. And it's just like, you know, people even argue like, Rosa, what are they doing? What, you know, I love watching their videos. It's very therapeutic. Or, you know, you bring me a laugh or you'll make me cry because it's finally showing me that somebody really knows what I'm going through. They understand the struggles that I'm, you know, I'm trying to see fit. Or you're the only one that, you know, truly understands what I go through. I try to tell people that and they make me feel like I'm, I'm speaking Chinese arithmetic to them. And, you know, it, and it was really showing me when you got to go through that much controversial things, you're on to something. And this is that, that thing where, you know, I was so... I, my mom always said that was your thing you were so easy to, to give up on things and you, before you can really see if this is going to take you somewhere and you, you're going to miss out on a lot of blessings when you keep doing that and then you know when I can actually hear my mom and there'll be sometimes I cry because I, I'm, I'm very rarely of hearing that with me with my mom and it's not the fact that she wasn't proud of me but I just didn't really give her nothing to be proud of I've always been in some stuff but now I'm actually in that vibration of where she's seen the, the things that I've really had to go through and you know where her being passed on is like her my grandparents and stuff that I never had a pleasure to meet and it's just being able to know them and knowing where I come from and you know that, that was an emotional moment but just being able to know that they're protecting me and guiding me that way 
you know, is very beautiful to me. And it's just like, hey, keep going, keep going. You know, we're here. You know, just keep going. We know this is hard for you, but there's something that you haven't that you haven't exposed yet, or there's certain things you haven't really truly connected with yet. And when you're getting that, that is your testimony. That is your zen. That is your thing. There's something that you have not uncovered yet. There may be something that you haven't discovered within the depths of you yet. And these are those things that you, if, if, even when you get frustrated and things aren't going, and you're like, you know what? I'm not. I'm done. I give up. I'm not doing this no more. And then the next day. Okay, I'm going to go back. You know, I mean, something your soul will not allow you to do that. Because you may be able to give up on a lot of other things. But this is that something that your soul is not going to allow you to do. So, you know, allow yourself to keep moving. Allow yourself to keep discovering you. Because everything is just a reroute to you anyway. It's a part of you that you need to acknowledge. A part of you you really truly needed to know. The the part of you, you may be that person where you always feel like you're weak. And it, it's just like, you know... Like, I was just in my other video, and it's like, I hate that. When I get into my emotions, because I don't like it, I really don't. That is so uncomfortable for me. But that's just like, I, I said, you need to stop being that, like that, because it's a hypocrite. You it, It's being hypocritical, because you tell people it's okay to be emotional, it's okay to be doing this. And then when you get into your emotionals, you know, because you don't hit something that really don't open the, pull the heartstrings, and then you try not to cry, you know, and be, sometimes I'll be ready to ugly cry. And I'm like, ugh, I don't want to do that. You ain't going to have me on tape doing that you know but then it's just like it's okay to be emotional you know you're showing people your sensitive side and I like to be able to show that I have moments where I'm just in that vibe where you know what I'm gonna get out my little funk today by doing something positive and then by the end of the day I feel so much better and it's showing me see even when the day started off bad it don't mean it has to stay that way or if you're feeling in a funk where you're not feeling really being productive and I feel one of my friends going through something and I'm like hey I'm sending you a little giggle today you know something to make you ish and giggle and it's always it's always funny until you ish you know and they be like you know what Rosalind you are so stupid and I was like and it made me feel good because I brought some kind of laughter into their life and it makes me feel good when I can make other people feel good and so that's the part of my testimony and being able to do that because you know like I was so quick to give up on things and this is that thing where even when I want to give up my soul will not allow me to and it be getting on my last nerve but then it gets to that point where I have to be grateful for that you know I had to be grateful for the unseen it told me hey keep going we know it may be taking long or it may be making you feel like you really can't do something good about this but you know your test is going to be your testimony and it's just like every day is a test to you you have to understand that especially when you're on a vibe like this or you're on a spiritual path like this every day is a test it'll be something that you know you be quick to that person if somebody come at you and you be that one to hit below the belt and universal just got one of those little moments where you got one of them little smart ass people they want to come up and really really poke the dag on sleeping bear in the hibernation you know that is not good when a, a, a bear is hibernating that's just not good you know um and then it'll be that point like what are you gonna do are you going to poke back? Are you going to, you know, they're they going to get, you know, get rude and you really going to have to get ruthless back. They hit, you know, they hit a sore spot. So you're going to hit one that even sore. Are you about to discover one that's sore? Or are you just going to be quiet? I'm going to be quiet. You tell me to stop, I'm going to stop. You know, I don't want to. I want to go straight, you know, straight come in with a quickness on that. But today I'm not going to do that. Okay, good. That means you can control your emotions. I'm like... I didn't want to control. I really wanted to let loose. I really wanted to tell them where they can stick it. We know. But we're getting you out of that situation where stop allowing people to control you. But you can control your emotions. This is one of the many things that you have control over. <laughs> you know, it'd be one of those things. You know, somebody, you be driving. And here comes somebody really wanting to, you know, you trying to get into a parking space. And somebody get right into that. Like, you really didn't want your little car, did you? Because I'm really about to wreck shop in that. Because you see me getting right turned into that. But you had to do that. And not realize that person was, uh, you know, there was an emergency. They trying to hurry up and use a phone. Or there was something like, you know, they trying to get their child's, uh, you know, medication. Because then I had like a, 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 a allergic, you know, reaction towards something. There's, there may be something that was very critical for that. And it was like, Dad, I'm sorry. But, you know, I really had to get here. You know, and you really just don't know. So there would be different things where you're really being challenged at for you to really change for the better. 
for you. And that will be a part of your testimony. How you can allow yourself to be that person like I said. I'll be quick to give up on things. And there are many times why I wanted to give up. There are many a times I was going to give the, you know, the enemy what they wanted. But it was just like no. This is at that time where you're really not proving to other people. But you're going to prove to yourself that you are better than your circumstances. You can overcome anything that's been placed on your path. You can allow yourself to be the best version of yourself if you applied yourself to really do that. And that can be a testimony in you when you're allowing yourself to allow people in. Not just, you know, because it's like when I tell people it's not easy to get on here. Because there's a lot of things that you may not want to talk about. And there'll be certain things is like I can be talking towards myself and it'll be something they will stick out to me. I'm like, ooh, let me go ahead and write that down. Or it'll be sometimes on this video, like, y'all, let me pause for the calls because I got to write that down. There'll be another content I got to write down. Or it'll be something that I said to somebody that really, you know, really touched me that I don't probably responded to one of y'all about. I'm like, oh, let me go ahead and put that. Or it may be something that y'all don't brought to me. I always tell you, hey, if you want me to discuss something on the channel, just make a video about it because there may be something that you're going through that I may can really strongly relate to. Or even if I don't. Because I'll tell y'all, hey, somebody, you know, I, I, don't, I don't give a name out unless you, you know, you're okay with that. I'm like, hey, you know, somebody brought this, uh, this content up and wanted me to discuss this. And I really don't know nothing about it. But when I read about it, I was very intrigued. And I want to be able to share with other people. And, you know, I'm like that. You know, you've been with me for a while. You've heard me give credit towards other people. that I really found something that really hit me. And it was just like that. Let me go ahead and make content about it. I never want to sit up here and take credit for other people's stuff. I've seen how people did that. I've seen how people did that for me. And, you know, I, I'm just like, I want to be able to give credit where credit's due. I'm going to give people their flowers. You know, I'll be the FDS today. <laughs> you know, so it, it's just like you're going through these different things and you really never know what your testimony is. So it's allowing yourself to glow, glow and go with the flow. And you're even growing through it. And you really never know it, the way something can really impact you. That will help you want to impact others to do the same. So you allow yourself to know your T is that test that can be your testimony for other people so i hope you were able to resonate with content of that video i would love to uh, give a post notification shout out to um uh, let me see um thomas woolward much love to you as well and james ishman much love if you're new to the channel please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me i'll leave my contact information in the description box below it's all about spiritual networking you know a lot of people either you know dm me or hit me up let me know that they're, they're going through some different things and you know want my insight about it or you know just want my feedback or they're just something that they really want to vent about that people truly don't understand and i'm like hey i'm here for it you know we're all helping each other is like all student you know uh, teacher situations where we're helping each other heal and grow and move forward and really have a deeper understanding of you know our path of purpose or what we've been called to do so I love to be able to be a part of that you know whatever we discussed is going to be discreet you know I help out the best way I possibly can um, if you're interested in my podcast I also have that on my community section of my channel as well you know as well as my post I have memes you know empath memes you know different things that's going on especially it's, it's like a uh, 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 what is it for your information it's like what, what is the FYI you know different um, changes we're going through we just passed the you know the Lionsgate portal to 8 8 and then we had the 6 6 and the 7 7 I'm like Lord we've been going through so many changes make your head want to spend a couple of times and get seasick you know but we're all going through different changes right now you may be a little bit lethargic you may be dreamy um there may be uh, different things that's going on. It may have you, you know, stuck in the clouds for a minute. Or you're being emotional or you're being very standoffish. That's normal right now because we're going through a lot of changes. There's a lot of things from the past that's coming up that may get you, you know, in your feels a little bit. But it's just telling you, hey, you've been holding on to these things for a long time. Now it's time to really reflect on them, you know, reset and go ahead and let go. And allow yourself to give it attitude of gratitude, whatever you learn from that. So you can be able to move forward, you know, because. There's no reason for you to be in a hamster cage for anything. This is that time to move forward. You are, you know, you you got so many beautiful things that's waiting for you around the corner for you to explore. So go ahead and keep moving. So um, with that, if even if you feel generous enough to drop a donation, also the cash app is there too in the description box. Um, and whatever I'm saying, whatever um, vibes you're truly needing for whatever you're you're going through to place in your manifestations. 
uh, in your past fruition. You know, when we're going through a lot of different things and universe gives us this image in the head and saying, hey, this could be you if you allow yourself to do it. And you're really trying to understand where it's connecting the dots, you know, how to be able to get to it. So whatever you're needing, that persistent, consistent, that, you know, keep being motivated, keep doing it. It may take you a while. It may not take you a long time. Whatever it is, be consistent, persistent about it. Stay productive and dedicated to it because you never know where it can lead you. And it's, it's allowing you to find something deep in store with yourself is a hidden gift that was waiting for you to have that you know that strong contact with it so you truly do deserve that so i'm sending in whatever you're needing towards your way towards that stay persistent and consistent in everything you do don't sleep on yourself stay woke you know the, the devil the enemies will do all they can to 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 make you second guess your your potential as well as your light they want you to be able to give up on everything because it could be the day that they make you do that just because they know tomorrow may open doors for you tomorrow so you keep on going recognize you on, on the on the deepest level of that because you truly deserve that more than anybody you truly do so um i hope you stay safe and be responsible for everything you do you know even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequencies you never know that can really take somebody a long way and just because you're doing that for no reason at all just to be helping other people it will take you even further so much love to you god bless you know god may god continue to bless your journey on you moving forward in life and healing from whatever is holding you back and hindering your heart your soul and your mind you know namaste god bless shalom i say Namaste, peace, much love. See me on my next video.